if someone offends you deliberately and then they come back and then they say oh i'm sorry and then you say well so it, would that be you forgiving in that instant would you say well i forgive you or would you also contemplate say the mindset behind which they have brought forward an apology they have come seeking your forgiveness right so now that's one now when you consider what they have done do you suggest that they are free of the consequence of that action or do you suppose well i forgive you and what would be consequence from your action or for your actions will not come from me it will come from something like an authority a state a god time karma the witches in the village your grandmother's spirit i don't know you all you all believe in things these days <laughs> I think that forgiveness has to do with separating the events that occurred that you don't like from the negative emotion you've attached to it. Such that if something happens to you that you don't like, there's a, you remember the event and there's a way you feel about the event. Now, forgiveness separates the emotion from the event so that you no longer have any feelings towards the event, which means that you can go ahead and seek justice, but the justice you are seeking is matter of fact and not emotional. So you're not doing it out of revenge or out of anger or out of spite. It's just matter of fact. This is what ought to be done. So for example, you hit my car, we've had an accident. I'm not even angry, but you should fix it. I'm not angry, I'm not trying to punish you, I'm just doing what is just. You have insurance, your insurance company should fix it. I have forgiven you for the event. I'm not angry, so yeah. my emotions are no longer attached to the event. Well, this is good. But the consequence of the event still goes ahead. Meaning that justice and forgiveness go hand in hand. Not necessarily. Justice and forgiveness are kind of separate. Oh. In the sense that justice should take its course, whether or not I have forgiven you. The issue is that when I have forgiven you, the justice is no longer emotional. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's so Justice that's should very clear. take its course with or without my forgiveness. Justice is independent of my forgiveness. I can choose to forgive you, but if I forgive you and decide not to pursue justice, then I'm perverting justice. So oh. I might choose to pursue I might choose to pursue justice as a deterrent to save somebody else in the future. Not because I'm emotionally vested in that event. Oh, this is so good. So, for instance, <laughs> for instance, you've yeah. done something, you're driving on the wrong side of the road. Uh. I will decide to block you and tell you to turn around. I'm not angry. I'm just telling you, if I let you pass, other people will follow you, and it will cause a complication in traffic to the next one. Ah, what I'm saying is that if you have forgiven somebody, yeah. you will not be chasing the case about because uh -oh. it's not for you, but somebody that is caught already, hmm? and you now understand that this is the act this person has done, this is what this person has done, uh -huh. you can always forgive that person from your heart uh -huh. and let go, you understand, yeah. and be free, but you can't take away the case from the police. So you're you saying, at your, your but, scenario, you're saying that if the person gets caught, then it's a different thing. But as long as the person doesn't get caught, then they're free to go. If the person is with me, and it, I, I caught him myself, and he begged for forgiveness uh, hmm, from me, and I say in my heart that I've forgiven you, then I'll go nowhere again. Because I've forgiven, it's left between him and God. Well, I've just done my part. Oh, heaven. By okay. forgiving him. All right. When you go to the book of Genesis, the Bible said that God created man in his own image after his own likeness. And then he commanded them, he commanded Adam not to eat a certain fruit. Now, it came to pass that Adam was, te uh, Eve was tempted. And through Eve, Adam ate that fruit. Mm. Now, when God came, an axe of Adam. Mm. Adam said he was naked. Then God asked him, have you eaten the fruit? I asked you not to eat. He said, the woman you gave me made me to eat it. And then there were consequences of that 
action, that scene, okay. one of it is that they will surely die. Mm. Now, if God has forgiven Adam that sin, the consequences of his action have not been erased. That is why humanity still dies today. Oh, so there is no total forgiveness. Forgiveness is just, um, I think, it's a makeup to make people feel, um, feel. What, what adjective would I use? Just to make you, pacify you, just to move forward. It's not as oh. if there is a total forgiveness. There is none. Even if you, if you, if if you have a child, and that child does anything wrong, maybe. You flogged him or you flogged her or you didn't. Mm. Tomorrow you still go back to remember and remind him that this is what you did yesterday. So if you are totally forgiven, that will be raised in your heart and you will not make it as a reference point. Okay. So there is no action without consequence. Definitely an action done deliberately goes with the note I just made it that justice is independent of forgiveness. If the action was done deliberately. Definitely the, the, the person must face the consequence. But if it was not intentional, forgiveness should be absolutely done. Like, no justice. Justice should be dependent. Like, after forgiving the person, the person should not face any consequence until done the second time. But what absorbs a person of punishment? or to suffer the consequence of their action is to determine what motive made them do it. That's what you're exactly. saying. Exactly. Thank you. Exactly.